Hello everyone and welcome back to Iron Horse Farm where I want to do a bit of baling today. We're going to be continuing with the field which we were in yesterday, which we finished harvesting, and we're going to get a round baler and do that. We're going to have to rent the baler though because obviously we don't have much money, we're playing on hard and it's going to be fairly tough to buy all the machinery. And as we only have one field so far that needs baling, I think that is the best option. We'll just rent it for a day and get the job done. So I need to find a, a good place to cross this river and keep going until I get to one and then we will get the stayer tractor, I think that's how you pronounce it, someone picked me up on it and said that's not how you pronounce stayer, but I don't know another pronunciation of it so hopefully I am pronouncing it correct. Um, but yeah, we're going to get that field bailed, meanwhile the New Holland is currently drilling the field which I started off yesterday and that is doing oats can't wait to do an oats harvest not done one before so here is a wider bridge it's still not massively wide but there's more of a swing to it so I should be able to get the combine over it will be tricky it always has been but it should be possible if I don't crash too much may even have to reverse this up field behind to be able to get round. Right, that's the header into there. I should be able to cross easily now. It's just getting lined up, which is the problem. I think getting out will be fine, but I need to make sure I get the swing right on the trailer. So this is Iron Horse Farm. This is the yard itself. Uh, nowhere really in particular to put this combine, so I'll just put it here for now. We'll turn it off. We now want the stay tractor and I also want to get the baler. There it is, and the good thing about it is it hasn't really cut into our bank balance at all. It's very cheap to rent for a day, uh, just £4,000, and yeah, £4,000 a day, yeah, that's gonna be very expensive if you're doing that every day of the year, but for Farming Simulator, it's good because the amount it costs to buy these pieces of equipment new is astronomical. So 4,000 is nothing really. There's one thing I worry about with that field, and it is the swath. The width of the swath is really big, and I don't know if I'll be able to get it all in one go. And I don't want to have to windrow it, but if I can't, it's going to look really messy if it's missing bits all the time. So I can only see one thing to do, only one option, and it would be to windrow it. And that would be a shame, because there's a lot of wasted time and money. So fingers crossed, this is going to work. I will just check up on the New Holland first though, just in case it's crashed. Right. Oh no, it's doing well. It's cracking on well. I know it's costing money having a worker, but it would be really tedious if the entire video was just me going up and down this field, so I think it is the best option here. When I can afford it, I'll get a new drill, but that's obviously not at the moment. So yes, back into this tractor, and we'll get to work. Now the headlands are obviously going to be harder anyway because we're turning but the straight parts should be if all goes to plan easy to do it is actually taking it all in which is a very good sign Yep, that seems to be working well, so we don't need the windrower. 
That is really good news. For those of you who keep asking about a release date for this map, I don't know personally, because it's not my map, but it's in the Giants mod contest, which, as far as I'm aware, the closing date for entries is 25th of August. Maybe wrong, but I don't know how long after that they release them. I would have thought it would be released with all the other mods which are in the contest, so if you can find out the date for that, there is your answer. Obviously when it is released I'll put a link in the description so that you can download it. Yep, I think the width is absolutely fine of the swath. Amazingly, because it looks really wide. It doesn't look like it'll fit in. But clearly, we're getting a lot of straw off this field. So we should get plenty of bales, which is good because we're going to need them for our animals. We're also going to need to sell some to get some more money. So the more the better. And it really piles up like there when you stop the combine in one place which is of course what would happen in real life it will start piling up higher and higher if you just stopped going well. 14 bales so far. Not really done too much. So we're going to get a good number out of this field. Quite happy with it. I don't know if it was fertilised to begin with or not. Can't remember. But if it wasn't, it's still good for what it is. Now, uh, that is the heather that's actually taken off now. It's going to have to start going up and down the field. So I prefer staying in the tractor because I stay in line much better than when I'm doing it from outside camera view. I tend to miss bits from outside, so for this job especially, being in cab is much better. It'd be good if there's like a rear view camera on the back and there's a little screen in here and you could see it, so you know when it's closed properly. Now you may be thinking, what am I going to use to move these bales? Well, as someone quite rightly pointed out, I do have already the front loader for the New Holland. So that is the obvious tractor to use. Um, and what I'm going to put them on is hopefully the bale trailer. Now, if I was playing on normal or easy or whatever, I would use the auto stacker because it is so much easier. Uh, but I want to do the iron horse farm especially as realistically as possible. And I know this causes a lot of uh, debate when I start talking about the auto stacker and I know that it's realistic, I know that it's used because I've seen one in real life. Um, it's just, with the money we've got, I don't think this farm would have an auto stacker because we're playing on hard. Obviously if the bank balance was 100,000 or something then yes, 
I would uh, use an auto sacker, but we just can't afford it. So, no, auto sackers are not unrealistic um, at all. It's just I don't really want to use one on this farm. I actually like using auto stackers, I think they're very good. But I also like doing it with a front loader as well. I think got to get the uh, the right balance between them both. It's a bit scruffy here on the corners. My aim is to finish the entire field without leaving any straw at all on the ground because it looks scruffy and I really don't want to miss any. If I have missed any, like over there, I'm going to go back and get it. I think a field full of freshly baled round bales looks brilliant. I think it looks really uh, nice to look at. pieces of straw lying about makes you look really bad. Like here it needs really sorting out but it won't be too hard. It really won't be. Right that's 37 bales. Not bad at all. Not finished yet but we're not too far off. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm not actually sure how many bales you can get on a trailer. Brown bales that is. Obviously I know how many square bales because I've done it in Cobra Park Farm. A little bit missed there, have to pick that up later. But overall I think it has been quite successful. There are a few bits I've missed but I'm going to pick them up later. Once I've finished up here, I'll take the tractor back, we'll put it in the main yard, and then we'll head over to the top field, see how the new Holland's doing. Fingers crossed by then it will have finished the field, which means we'll be allowed to let it get growing. But I need to find another job. Obviously we need to move the bales, so that will be in the next episode. Uh, but other than that, all I can think of is harvesting. Because we still have more barley harvests to do. More barley fields. Uh, but, yeah, there, there isn't a great deal to do when you haven't got much machinery. So the uh, amount of jobs I can do in Challenton is much more than this farm. Only because of the way I'm playing, though. Really scruffy here.
Right, final row. And then I'm just going to sweep up all the rest, which has been missed. It's looking like 50 bales, though. Very good number. We may be able to get 51 from all the scraps. Well, I think that's it. It's looking very good. Nice field of bales, ready to be collected. And we'll do that in the next episode. So we'll head back to the yard. And we'll put it away. And uh, the New Holland, I would have thought, will be almost done. Because it's taken quite a while to do that. And it's not a massive field which is drilling. On the minimap I can see that... Oh, well. Probably 75% done. It is slow, that drill. I think it is probably one of the priorities to get a new drill. But I also want to get a John Deere mod, like I mentioned previously last week. Uh, still looking for a good one. But I have got one in mind, so hopefully very soon I'll be able to get that. And I think we'll just park this somewhere. Should be okay in here. So stop that there. And uh, let's see. Um, what is it doing? Oh, it's out of seed. It doesn't realise it's out of seed. Well, that's not really worked. I thought workers usually uh, have unlimited seed, but clearly not. That is such a waste of time. It's done nearly all the field without seeding it. That is crazy. At least it's got up to here, but... Yeah, I thought workers, though. They do. They don't actually need any seed in the drill to actually do it. Unless that's been fixing a patch. Hmm. Oh well. We'll get it done next time. I'll just take you down to the yard where the seed is. Down here, I remember this time, and uh, through here, and there's the seed. So I must remember to keep an eye on it this time to make sure there is always enough seed in the drill. First time I've encountered that problem though, maybe it's just this map. Obviously it is more realistic to have seed in the drill which you're using, but it's just from past experience on FS you didn't need to. Oh well, I know now. So thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, despite that little hiccup at the end there. But I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.